here I am at Neil Gap. I didn't think this was ever going to happen. And for all of you wondering about the boot tree, here it is. My boots aren't up in that tree, that's for sure. I'm still wearing mine. Touche, Jack. Hey everyone, Lamplighter here. Welcome back to my channel. Today it is April the 7th, Sunday afternoon. And as promised, uh, here is my update as to where I'm at and what's been happening for this past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, firstly, before I begin, I just want to thank you all for your prayers, concern, your comments, your support. Uh, really appreciate it and I'm just blown away each time uh, again as I can see how the trail community uh, really backs one another up it's just absolutely amazing so I'm just so blessed to, to get to meet some of you already and uh, to be able to converse with you uh, via the, uh, the comment uh, section of, of these videos uh, so that's amazing it's great um, also I'd like to say at this point that uh, I'm not done with the trail uh, there has been a slight delay, uh, and it's something I would like to talk to you about. Uh, there has been some delay. Uh, it's not all pack or body issue related. Uh, there are some other factors here uh, involved as well. Uh, so indeed, I did make it uh, to Neil Gap, and after uh, visiting at Mountain Crossings, um, I was able to assess that indeed I could probably reduce my pack weight by at least 12 pounds which would help a lot and then I could carry on with my journey. Uh, but for the moment I've decided to uh, postpone that journey uh, but I will be back on the trail. Uh, I may even come back um, toward the end of April and do a huge section of the trail. Uh, rather than try and complete a entire uh, through hike. The Appalachian Trail has been calling me for quite some time, you know, and uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, I was hoping to um, share with you all the, uh, the vision or the dream of the white stone uh, when I would uh, summit Mount Katahdin in the state of Maine. 
but I felt that may not possibly happen in 2019. So thus, uh, the sharing of the uh, white stone uh, taking place on Springer Mountain instead. As a international traveler, you know, we don't quite have the luxury of just sending things home or having things called back to us uh, when we're out on the trail. Uh, so we do tend to pack a lot more of the items we would need for the entire duration of the journey. Uh, thus, uh, that additional weight in my pack, uh, which contributed somewhat at the initial start uh, to some of my pain. All right, without further ado, I've been called home uh, for a variety of reasons. We also have, uh, running parallel to my time of being out on the trail, a uh, prophetic prayer journey that will eventually uh, cross Canada from coast to coast uh, with the uh, initiative actually starting tomorrow on April the 8th, uh, where some of us will be traveling uh, across BC into the province of Alberta uh, for a very important prayer initiative that really uh, concerns all of Canadians, uh, our political system, um, just our uh, spiritual well-being uh, as a nation. I am now at home and will be starting a, another initiative of great importance tomorrow uh, with a team that's already assembled here in Canada. Uh, I'll give further details as to what that might be all about and how it, how it will look uh, over the course of the next uh, several weeks. Um, but that is one of the primary reasons why I've chosen to come home at this point so that I can head up that uh, prophetic prayer team uh, starting tomorrow as we cross BC into Alberta. All right, so after Neil Gap and Mountain Crossings, um, I decided to take a shuttle into Blairsville, which is a typical trail town. Be there for two days and then arrange for a flight out of Atlanta uh, back home to where I am now, as mentioned uh, just a moment ago. So again, just thank you for following along. Uh, please stay tuned. And I look forward to producing a few more videos uh, in the near future and I'll keep you updated and posted as to uh, how everything is coming along. So for now, this is the Lamplighter 2019, over and out. Well, hey everyone, Lamplighter here. Well, here I am. It's uh, Saturday morning. I'm in Blairsville and I'm just in the downtown historic district and uh, I'm just going to be going over to that hole in the wall that I've heard so much about and a shout out to uh, Early Riser who says that you can't come down to Georgia without trying the biscuits and gravy. So that's where I'm going, to this hole in the wall for biscuits and gravy. <laughs> 